I always think, uh, whenever I'm here in Northampton, I always think about, um, about you, yes. I think about you. I think about, I think about the days when there was less of you. Yeah. And I think about what it was exactly that willed me to get up in the morning and get into the car with Sarah and drive to the next small cute little town. And it was the ladies. No, I'm just it wasn't. <laughs> it was the money. <laughs> um, when we were writing the con, our last record, it was, it was the uh, it was the first time that we'd ever had like a significant chunk of time off since high school and uh, oh, I like you anyway we wrote all these songs they were very sad songs and my mom my mom lives in Vancouver now but she she used to live in Calgary and I would call her you're dirty all of you dirty dirty people anyway my mom used to call me and she I would send her all of our new songs and when I sent her this next one she was like the girl that I liked, her name was Lindsay, and she was like, Lindsay's not gonna like you. <laughs> and she's like, these songs aren't funny, and they're not sweet, and they're not cute, and that's dark shit. That you're doing. <laughs> I know. But you know, that's the way it is in the movies, right? In the movies, there's like the indie rock boy, and he's all like singing, and then he gets that way hot girl that's way hotter than he should have gotten, and I'm like, that's me. <laughs> That's what I thought. I was like, I'm gonna write sad, sad little indie rock songs, and then I'll get the girl. And it did. It worked because I, I did it. So. <laughs> How do you know? You'd applaud to anything I say. Anyway, I was just I was thinking about you guys this morning as we were driving here. I was thinking that that there's more no <laughs> of you perverts and um, man. You were thinking about Sarah this morning? You are... There's nothing wrong with the way that you're expressing your love, but it is upsetting for you. And something that is... Because... A lot... Of, this is the thing that's been happening lately, is that, um... We get to this part of the show, you know where we talk? You know, we talk. I want to connect with you. Yeah. And, and, and Sarah... Sarah's, um, single, ladies. And, um... But I tell that to the audience. Who knows if that's true or not? I do, but, um... Have started even guys. I mean, yeah, a couple of nights ago there was a lot of boys, but they will scream at Sarah, like scream at her, and they will throw their undergarments and they will demand Sarah's attention. And it scares Sarah. She doesn't like that. So you can scream to your heart's content. You can scream to your voice's hoarse. But Sarah won't want your love. You need to go home and you need to write a song for her, and then you need to email it. You know? Even that won't work, I promise. <laughs> anyway, you know what? You know what? Oh, okay. oh I'm sorry. No, 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 please. I just don't want to... You, you keep talking to It me. is your band, and I don't want to... It wonder. is. You may speak. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. You are a rowdy, rowdy, rowdy like audience. Like it's it's just... just... We're waiting for the part of the show where we... Where we set up a ring and we get mud and jello out and make Ted and Sean yeah. think. Anyway, you kind of show. I just, I just, this person, this, I, I think you're, I mean, just based on the timbre of your voice, I think, think it's the same person, but, um, I mean, I recognize you now like, a, like, a, like an animal in the wild, but I just, um, I just want to tell you that I appreciate your, um, enthusiasm for me, and, if I could just tell you something about girls like me, if I'm a type, perhaps I'm a type or a pattern that you're, that you're attracted to. Maybe it's my side-swept hair, or it's something about my rolled up jeans, I don't know. But let me tell you something. 
I generally, I generally don't respond to wild catcalling. I just don't. Now, that doesn't mean, that does not mean that when I walk by someone and they, like for example, someone once sucked their teeth at me and said, I'd roll with you shorty. And I said to myself, no thank you sir. But I am also flattered by that. So, to you, the person that keeps screaming for me, I'm also flattered by your attention, but it, it, it turns me off sort of in this way that like, um, that the guy that said like, I'd roll with you shorty, it was, it's a little too aggressive for me, I'm a little shyer than that, so you may want to change your technique over the course of the show, if you're really interested.